Welcome everyone to Organize Your Ass Astrology for the week of March 22nd to March 28th and happy spring. Super excited about spring. I hope you are too. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So we start our week off um, with the moon in Cancer. So Monday, first of all, is the moon's day. So every single day of the week is ruled by a planet. So if you want to be in sync with the universe, follow not just the moon, but the day of the week. So Monday is the moon's day. It's the most sensitive planet that we have. So when it is Monday, it's a really good idea to take extra good care of yourself. I mean, it's also practical if you think about it, right? Because you want to take good care of yourself on Monday so you have enough energy to do really well throughout the whole week. Um, and not only is Monday the moon's day, but moon is in cancer. So this is even more important for you to bump up the level of self-care. So you want to double down your self-care on Monday, nest and rest. The moon in caring cancer is really important it's really good for emotionally expressing yourself fully in a, in a healthy way, not keeping any emotions in. And it's also a great day to relate to your nurturing side. Cancer's the archetypic mother of the zodiac. So you wanna tap into your divine mother within and really listen to yourself, listen to your body, give yourself what you need to feel emotionally secure. That's what cancer energy is all about. And moon energy is all about. It's all about feeling at home within the self. So do whatever it is that you can to nourish yourself, nurture yourself, soothe yourself on Monday. You wanna create the space to decompress and use the power of the ocean. Not only is it the moon's day, but it's the uh, moon is in Cancer. So the ocean is a very, very um, wonderful asset that we have that we're, we don't really leverage, I don't think, as much as we ought to. So if you're experiencing any negative emotions, just send them back to the ocean. Let the ocean heal you. On Tuesday, um, the moon will be in Cancer for most of the day. It's going to be entering fiery Leo at 5.56 p.m. EDT. Tuesday is Mars's day. So it's all about action and getting things done. And you really, those Herculean efforts are really important for uh, Tuesday. Like it, it, it's easier to get a lot more done on Tuesday than it is other days of the week. Uh, the moon will be in nurturing cancer all day long. So you may want to spend a little bit of time getting your house in order you know, using that Mars energy from Tuesday and putting it toward your home where the moon is in Cancer is a practical thing to do, like getting your laundry done or painting a wall or just, you know, tidying up. Uh, you want to focus when the moon is in Cancer on your emotional and mental health. And then later on this evening or Tuesday evening, the moon will be in Leo. So when the moon is in Leo, you want to do things just for the sake of good feelings. It feels good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to joke. I'm going to have fun with friends. I'm going to dance. I'm going to play. I'm going to create. Art is an end unto itself, Oscar Wilde said. And I think that with the Leo moon, it's important to just do things without there being like a, like a purpose. Like the purpose really is to feel good. And under the Leo moon, you're going to want to share your gifts with the world. Just sharing yourself and being not just generous, because Leos are so generous, but they're, they're not just generous with their resources, they're generous with their energy. Also on Tuesday, we have Mercury squaring Mars. So this transit is hot, hot, hot. So Mercury is the planet of communication and Mars is the planet of war. So Mercury, the planet of the mind, communication, and then Mars, there's a square going on there. That means that these two energies are not really getting along on Tuesday, but uh, squares make shit happen. We tend in astrology to really 
hate squares, but without squares, we don't really get things done. So this is a really great day to really focus on anything that requires a lot of mental effort. Um, but this hot and fiery transit needs to be handled with care. So controlled activities in which you use your hands are favored because Mercury rules the hands. Physical exercise is also a really great way to burn up this hot energy. Otherwise, take extra care to avoid rush thinking and saying the wrong thing. That's the biggest issue or challenge we have with Mercury square Mars. Remember, you cannot unring a bell. Take five seconds, five minutes, take some deep breaths, leave the room, whatever you can do. But when in doubt, leave it out when Mercury squares Mars. The power thought for the day on Tuesday with this transit is where can I put my extra fiery energy today in the most constructive, empowering way? On Wednesday, March 24th, the moon will continue in creative Leo. And it's Wednesday, which is the day of the week ruled by Mercury. So expect lots of communications, uh, text messages, emails, people that might want to see you. You know, the moon is in Leo. Um, the moon in Leo is really great for being creative, having fun with your projects. No matter what you're doing, try to find how try to allow yourself to have fun with whatever it is that you're you're doing. Laugh a little, see the joy in it, maybe add a little bit of creative flair, just enjoy your work as much as possible. Joy, romance, play, shining your light, that is what the Leo moon is good for. It's all about giving your light to the world and that means lighting yourself up, being joyful and then giving some of that to other people. Under the Leo moon, you want to Avoid unnecessary drama. Leos can be rather dramatic. And be patient if you encounter opposition. All fire signs are really impatient when it comes to opposition. Like they don't like being opposed. There's like an old joke. How do you get a Leo mad? Well, just say no. Very easy because they don't like opposition. So we can take the aspects of, of Leo, positive and negative, when the moon is in Leo. So be patient if you encounter opposition when the moon is in Leo. And make sure you create and express yourself just like this chick over here. So on Thursday, oh, what fun. The moon will still be in fun loving Leo throughout the day on Thursday. Uh, and it will be entering buttoned up Virgo late on Thursday at 11.25 p.m. EDT. So Thursday is Jupiter's day. Jupiter is all about expansion and growth and, and really getting big and going big and thinking big. And it's a matter of, of expanding and growing. How can you expand your consciousness? How can you expand your knowledge? How can you expand your voice all around the world? If you're somebody who publishes or broadcasts, it's about really just stretching and feeling as if you're growing and expanding. And this is very important um, because a lot of people who have the impulse to expand, if they don't expand spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, creatively, et cetera, they actually expand girth-wise because they still have that need to expand. And uh, that's how they do it, because there's that need for expansion. And that's going to be really prevalent on Thursday, all Thursdays. So think big and expand. The moon in Creative Leo on Thursday is great for romance and creative projects and activities involving your children. So Leo is about creation. So your children, you create, you've created them. It's most creative thing you've ever created, most likely if you have kids. So spend time with your children, if you have any, or your godchildren, your nieces, nephews, if they are around. The moon will be in fastidious Virgo at 11.25 p.m. If you have OCD and you're up at 11.25 EDT, well, clean your house. You know, it's a great way to spend the Virgo moon. Uh, you wanna start thinking about health and work goals uh, on Thursday, if you're up that late. And remember that 
the next few days are going to be really good for projects that require focus. Virgo is really, really good at focusing. Um, hyper focusing is really good for Virgo. So on Friday, the moon will continue a conscientious Virgo all day long. And Friday is the day of the week ruled by Venus. So make sure you are loving yourself and spreading the love. The moon in prudent Virgo is great for healthy living. So making sure that you're eating clean, getting in some exercise, meditating, just doing the right thing in regard to your body. Work that requires attention to detail is also really good under the Virgo moon. So if you've been working on a project all week, Friday is a great day to proofread it. Just make sure your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. You know, fine tuning is really good under the Virgo moon. You don't want to be too fussy or perfectionistic though. You want to know when to say when and treat your body with extra care. I always am a, a little chagrin when it's the weekend and we have a Virgo moon because it's, you know, you want to kick back in the weekend and maybe eat pizza or have a few beers. And the Virgo moon, we're very sensitive. Our bodies are very sensitive. But sometimes if you've been like really strict with yourself, part of the the balance uh, that your, your body needs is to let go a little psychologically. So balance things um, this weekend with the moon in Virgo. On Friday as well, it's a very, very loving day. The sun will conjunct Venus. So the sun is about consciousness and Venus is about love and we're becoming really conscious of our love. So this transit is going to bring us an extra dose of love, peace, beauty, and harmony into our lives. This aspect is good for pleasure and romance and friendship. And it's also good just for relaxing and getting comfortable. This transit may also make us more lazy and indulgent, but because the moon is in Virgo, which is the workhorse of the zodiac, it will balance out. So... You might not be as gung-ho as you usually are under Virgo moon, but it's Friday. You get sun conjunct Venus. So maybe try to get off work early if you can. Power thought for Friday with sun conjunct Venus is how might I personify love, peace, beauty, and harmony? So if you want to experience love, peace, beauty, and harmony, you have to be the vibration. You can't experience anything that you're not the vibration of. So just focus there. This is a really great day with Sun conjunct Venus to personify love, peace, beauty, and harmony. On Saturday, March 27th, Saturday is Saturn's day. And I always find it odd that Saturday, the day of the week that most of us have off, is ruled by Saturn, which is about restriction and responsibility and, and duty, but so it is. So Saturday or Saturn's day is a great day to create order and structure in your life. And this is even more so uh, the case because you've got the moon in organized Virgo. So Virgo is all about efficiency. So you might wanna clean, organize your, your office or house on Saturday and systemize your routine to maximize efficiency. It's spring, you know, you want everything running like a well-oiled machine. You also on Saturday could enjoy nature, animals, your body, just really getting earthy under the Virgo moon. Again, be sure not to be too fussy or perfectionistic. Be extra kind to your body as it will be more sensitive than usual under the Virgo moon. On Sunday, March 28th, it's the sun's day. And that means that you wanna just, you know, celebrate being alive, be like the sun, bright and sparkling and radiant and happy. And that, as I spoke about before, is really a shortcut, I think, to health and wellness. And I think during this era of COVID, it's very important to keep our immune systems really, really strong. So we ward off 
not just that, but you know, we're in the change of seasons as well. And that sometimes can bring cold. So you want to keep positive. We don't have really the luxury of a negative thought. And Sunday is a great day to really take in the sunshine and feel like the sun. That'll make everything better. Uh, the moon will be in relationship oriented Libra on Sunday. So we want to partner up when the moon is in Libra. It's a Venus ruled sign. So under the Virgo moon, we were really working hard and being rather critical with ourselves. Now with Libra ruled, excuse me, Venus ruled Libra, we're loosening up. It's a really great time to partner up with your one-on-one -on -one connections. This could be your relationship. This could be your best friend. Just enjoying one-on-one uh, -on -one connections is really good under the Libra moon, which will go into Monday as well. Libra is the only sign of the zodiac ruled by an inanimate object, the scales. So it's all about balance and beauty and aesthetics is very much about balance. So it's a great day to beautify, be this beautifying your home, buying like art or clothes or getting a facial or a haircut. It's a really great day for that. And again, you could do this on Monday too while the moon is in Libra as well. Um, anything creative, creating beauty, if you're an artist, you know, even if you're a writer, you could be creating beauty with your language, right? So under the Libra moon, be sure to pamper yourself and enjoy more tranquility. It's all about peace and love and harmony. That's the best way to spend your Libra moon. And Libra being the sign of the scales, it's all about balance. So if things are off kilter in an area of your life, if something is imbalanced, if you've been doing too much of one thing and not enough of another, Libra moon on Sunday is a great day to balance that for, for your life. And you get that on Mondays too, which is great. So thank you so much for watching Organize Your Ass Astrology. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're looking for a psychic astrology reading, check out psychicsun.com. That's my website. We can get you a reading, find out how you can make the most of your spring. Have an amazing week and I will see you soon.